Hello, this is WSC WSC, and welcome to an overview of the first working prototype of the much-anticipated Drone Factory Mark II. And just so everyone knows, while this is a working version, I do not have it set to build drones at the moment, because I want the drones for the Drone Factory Mark II to be halfway decent compared to the original's drones. This means I don't want them flying in a straight line, then stopping. But what I want the new drones to be able to accomplish is I want them to actually seek out targets and to be able to do more advanced flight maneuvers, like, you know, actually be somewhat hard to hit for turrets. So they're actually practical for use in survival and other situations. Since I've been jabbering on long enough for this intro, let's go ahead and get started with the features of this. So let's just start off from front to back. So this is the front of the drone factory. At the very end here, you'll notice a camera, so you are able to sight in a target for the drone factory. And as well, these are the drone building bays, which you may recognize these. These are the version that I made in a video previous, or showed off in a video previous, which is just right here. And it's just four of them repeated in sort of a plus shape design. And right here in the middle, uh, there is two gravity generators that will cycle on and off depending on what you're using so it can get a bit of a head start when it launches. And as well here you can see the design I used to be able to have the drones or other things be able to lock on and lock into the conveyor system and be able to get off. And these little lights here and these little things that stick out, that's just decorational use. It's just so the whole front end lines up more together and just looks a bit better. So now going back from here, it starts to become a bit bigger around and the little, I guess you could say spikes at the front, come to the center. And here is the center of the drone factory. It has a turret on the top and on the bottom. Mind you, this thing is not supposed to be in frontline combat, but these are just in case if you have like a player made missile or have something other approaching you, it's a last ditch, you know, sort of weaponry. So hopefully you don't get taken out and you can escape. And as well, these four connectors are for obvious reasons, so you can load it with materials. And also so, once the drones are completed, I want to be able to set it up to where the drones will dock here so you don't have to constantly make drones like the original one. You can just use them in whichever ones you serve up. Well, whichever ones survive the fight, you can just lock them back here and they'll stay here, they'll charge up, they'll be full of ammo and all that. So, and then moving back, we have the thruster setup here, which is just four thruster pods and a center thing, which has all the hydrogen gyros and all that in it. And as well, there's a cockpit right here. And mind you, it may be kind of lame in some way that there's just a cockpit for this thing, but I just kind of concluded that, you know, I can't really put a bridge on this thing, like a true bridge, without it looking kind of strange and it being way too big and, you know, kind of defeating the purpose of this thing being light and maneuverable. So here's the view from the cockpit. And as you can see, you can't really see much. So that's why I put the camera on here. Which it's much easier to target with, to say the least. But just do remember, if you are using this, that when you are fully zoomed in like this, uh, the center is not where you think it is. It's really weird. I don't remember the exact details of it. But just remember that. And now to show what the interior of this thing actually looks like. So let's go up here to this one. So here you can actually see what the guts of this thing look like. And like I said, in the front end of that, how there's two gravity generators, here those two are with a bit of heavy armor in between them, so they're a bit harder to take out. And right behind that is just batteries and gyros, so this thing actually has a decent amount of power. And then there's 
the two large cargo containers right here. So, you know, because it's got to hold a pretty good amount of cargo to be able to do what it has to do. So, and as well, I just went ahead and put the reactors here just so they're in a relatively central and safe location. And right behind that, I put some hydrogen generators. Mind you, you would not normally keep these on because this will just eat through your hydrogen supply like crazy. But these are just in case if you run out of uh, uranium so the ship doesn't die. And as well, around the hydrogen tanks, there's tons of gyros and batteries to keep this thing going. And right behind the hydrogen tanks is a decent amount of timers, which these are just for the launch functions, for various types of bombs it can release, and other things. And not all of these are used currently, but once the drones are set up for this thing, uh, they should be all used, and I may have to add some more, but I don't know yet. And then right behind this is just the rear hydrogen thruster that's just built up around it. So, and as well, I have it in a way right now to where you could easily modify this if you wanted to. So, for instance, you could take out this metal hydrogen tank like that and use this extra space and maybe put a few chairs in here for a multiplayer server and then put an antenna right back here by just doing something like that and then you can control drones from it when they are launched so pretty easily modifiable and as well here you can see the inside of these thruster pods they're very simple so and now time to show the munitions that this thing can shoot that I've created so far so right here this is just a larger bomb, and to be specific, what did I name this thing? I named it a gravity bomb, because this is one of the munitions I've made that uses the gravity generators here in, in the nose of the ship. So, and all this is, is it's just a cube of warheads covered in a thin layer of armor, so it doesn't get shot out really easy by glancing blows from turrets. And yeah, as you can see there, it's got quite a bit of warheads and right here this is a scatter bomb which whenever it is launched it will spin and then release all of the merge blocks dispersing the warheads because it is spinning and causing quite a bit of damage and both of these excel in different areas the scatter bomb cannot shoot things from long as ranges uh, this can hit things from very long ranges but they're much easier to take out for, with turrets because of their, you know, they're pretty big. And then here's just the drone here, just as an example of how big these are. And here I will hit the button here on both of these, and or just this one first. And I can show off what these things do. And here it takes a little bit because what it does is when it is first built, it will sit a second and then charge, and then here you go, it, it would have launched then, and now it's doing its thing where it spins, and here soon it will release its payload, which I do not think I have damage on, but oh well, it wouldn't hit anyways, and there it goes, it releases its payload, but as you can see, the thing itself stops accelerating, and why that is, is in the back end of the scatter bomb, there's a decoy, so the turrets of the enemy ship will shoot at the decoy instead of all the little bombs it just released. So therefore making it quite a bit more effective. And now I'll show you what the gravity bomb does. And of course this thing does the same thing where it starts off charging itself so it actually can make it to its destination and not run out of power. And as well this one has a sensor in it so it doesn't actually use the feature of armed warheads just smashing into something. What it does is it gets real close and that sensor detects an enemy and then it blows up the warheads. And in my experience, that tends to be quite a bit more deadly. So that's why I have it set up that way. And I think this one may actually hit its target. So I'm going to turn on damage. And no, it's not. Huh. Guess I was incorrect see if I can nudge it in the correct direction. Nope, I cannot. Oh well. But, 
that is why I was going to show the how to properly use this drone factory with how I have it set up right now. Because gotta know how to be able to use this thing if you're gonna use it so and like I said it has the camera here and remember whenever you're fully zoomed in it is not perfectly center and what you do is just for third I'll go in third person so you can actually see what it's doing is you'll want to turn on your projectors or that's the welders projectors first of course and then what I want to do is hit to the start for the uh, gravity generators and the welders on at the same time. Mind you, when I have this done, I'll probably have that set up into one button and I'll have all that labeled on a good little like LCD or something on this once it's built. So it's nice and easy to use. But that's just how it is right now because this is still a prototype. But once I hit these, it will start the gravity cycle and it will build the warheads and build the bombs so and as you can see they're doing their little cycle where they sit there for a second and charge and then they will detach and start going forward and the gravity generator will kick on right there you notice they start going a bit faster and then just doing the same thing and let me go into spectator or you know not for some reason And show what kind of damage these things do and as you can see they're pretty scary just from what you're what is happening over there seems like these two side ones here are going a bit faster I may have to see if there's a kink in the system or something these ones sensors didn't trigger but I will say this from my experience building things like this can be kind of weird sometimes because sometimes they just don't do what you want them to do. like there they all work properly because you can tell because it's a much bigger explosion when they properly go off and as you can tell they do pretty good amount of damage very very good amount of damage Just so I can not crash my game here, let me go turn this crazy thing off. Yeah. Hit five and nine at the same time, and there I go. From my experience, maybe if I just make a timer in it that cycles the sensor on and off, that may fix it. It's just Space Engineers is weird. You, would, If you played this game a lot, you know what I mean. But, as you can see, this thing is quite effective. And it's very simple state, as is. And, mind you, there's going to be a lot of changes to it. And I don't know what's going to change with it yet just because it's still in the prototyping phase and there's just so much I'm gonna have to do and mind you both these bombs here the, the gravity bomb and this the scatter bomb was my little simple idea but the gravity bomb I saw in a comment and I thought you know that would actually be absolutely horrifying so naturally I had to create it just to see how awful and horrifying it could possibly be and man <laughs> that comment was a good idea to say the least and so I'm guessing that there's probably tons of more ideas out there of crazy and weird contraptions I can make for this thing to launch including the drones so I wouldn't mind more suggestions for that just cuz you know, the more suggestions, the more interesting I can make this, and the more versatile I can make this. And I do not know when I will have a video uploaded for the 
finished thing with the drones working. But it will hopefully be bef before the end of January. Just because I'm decently busy. So, and as well, in the description of this video, I will include the blueprints for the drone factory and for the scatter bomb that you put into the drone factory to launch it and the gravity bomb that you put into it to launch it and the ones that you don't put in there so if you want to change something or tweak something you can and I'll also include the drone so if you want to play around with it you can and yeah you can just play around with it see if there's some major flaws that I have and I just don't know because I'm the only guy working on this or if there's a major strength with it that I don't know that I could be using but I'm not so, you know, let me know in the comments. And let me check here my list, make sure there's nothing crazy I'm missing, and it seems like there isn't. So, and also I may put a download of the of this world on the workshop as well, so people can have the Drone Factory Mark 1 here as well, and all this whole setup in that ship over there to shoot at. And as well, I guess I'll put the Drone Factory Mark 1 up separately as well. But I guess that's it. Thanks for watching, and hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.